Hi, Dr. Ray McClanahan here. Today I've got a question that has been posed to us by Technosoma. That question is, what are your favorite ways to strengthen foot intrinsic muscles? The foot intrinsic muscles are also known as your plantar arch muscles. They are a group of muscles that start at your heel bone and collectively attach to your toes through this area here. So the first, first thing I would state in terms of strengthening those muscles is that the bones that those muscles attach to need to be in their proper natural alignment. And to understand what that really means, we need to look at what natural human foot alignment really means. And in our clinic, what we do is we show baby footprints of what a human foot looks like at birth. And then we also show people that this foot shape is maintained in cultures throughout the world that do not wear shoes that deform the shape of their foot. So step one in strengthening those little arch muscles is to make sure that your foot allows them to line up properly. Step two, if you have a foot that does not line itself up properly, let's say you maybe have some crooked toes or maybe you have a bunion, to help with the lining up of those plantar arch muscles, we like to use a silicone product called Correct Toes. This product actually aligns the toe bones where nature intended and correspondingly aligns those plantar intrinsic muscles to do their best work. Once you've got a proper footwear to allow for that and your foot is in proper alignment, there's several things that you can do for strengthening of those plantar intrinsic foot muscles. First thing I like to do is get some form of a ball. It can be any size ball. We prefer a hacky sack size ball and you put that on the floor in front of you and essentially the action of this strengthening is you keep your heel level and you pull the ball back towards your heel. Release the ball, pull the ball back towards your heel. So this is, and you can kind of rotate it to different sides of your foot if you want to selectively, maybe you want to selectively strengthen your big toe and you're just going to be working on pulling down on the big toe. Uh, or whether or not you want to take a global approach and pull back with all of the toes. Um, this is a very good way of strengthening your plantar arch muscles. Now, some folks say it helps them if they put their hand on top of their knee and correspondingly flex their hand muscles at the same time. One way or the other, as you begin working on this, the muscles in the arch of your foot are going to start to get stronger and healthier. So if you don't have a hacky sack or a ball at your, at your disposal to do these things, you can grab literally anything with your feet. You can grab, um, f for myself, I oftentimes will grab the accelerator in my car, I'll grab the brake pedal when I'm sitting in traffic and just flex my foot. Uh, another way of accomplishing the same kind of strengthening is what we call short foot exercises. And I like to do the short foot exercises by grounding the toes against the ground, drop your heel level, and this short foot exercise is an isometric exercise, which means that the, sh the uh, length of the muscle is not going to change that much. It's going to stay fairly similar, but you're going to contract the muscle by gripping with your toes. Now, if you notice, as I grip with my toes, what happens to my arch? This is absolutely the value of strong plantar intrinsic muscles. If your plantar intrinsics are strong and you can flex them, it has a net effect of naturally lifting your arch. This is natural arch support. Sadly, most people in America are doing their athletic activities f with their foot in this position and they never get an opportunity to actually flex their foot. So one of two things would be good to get you going on your path to foot strengthening, either gripping with the ball or the isometric short foot exercise. And this stuff goes a long way if you just do it frequently.